mainly just the compression, mainly just the compressors. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon from here in not very sunny Brawlsdes. Um, I've popped down to our Brawlsdes hub studio team to uh, do some work with Danny. Um, but in doing so, I brought my portable music rig with me because I'm always composing stuff and inventing stuff. So I have a portable rig because my um, iMac Pro rig is not very portable. We have done a previous vlog on that. See the link below. But yeah, it requires you know, a bit of hefting around. It can can be moved, but it's a, a bit of a beast. Um, and also it's now attached to a, quite a large um, external disc array where we kind of copy down and repeat, replicate all our Dropbox stuff. So it's a bit of a pain to lug around. So for traveling around, I've got a much more stripped down rig just for kind of inventing stuff and playing with stuff and general composing duties and, and creating duties. And it's all based around my trusty old 2010 iMac Pro 13 inch laptop with a Dell screen uh, running Cubase Elements 10.5 at the moment um, with a good old trusty Bear Dynamic DT880s headphones. Uh, don't usually carry any speakers with me, just use the headphones. Uh, running off the Steinberg UR22 Mark II and with this wonderful little Akai MPK mini keyboard which is more than enough for what I am. Um, so basically that's the kind of rig I've I set up the same sort of template that I use on the on the big system so it's got all the kind of individual channels it's got the, the sends for, for groups of instruments it's got the sends for compression and reverb um, but doesn't have the kind of any wave plugins. So don't, I don't take any wave plugins with me. I use the internal Steinberg um, plugins, mainly just the compressors, which they're quite up to the job of just doing basic compression duties on the sends. Um, and usually wait till I got it into the, the big system through any EQing with waves or any, any sort of fluctuation stuff. Um, but as a basic system for composing, it's usually pretty good. Um, and is enough power for you know as long as you don't load it up with too much stuff so another thing i want to talk about today is uh spitfire audio who are fast becoming one of my favorite uh plug-in suppliers and producers uh, i was introduced to spitfire when i got hold of their bbc symphony orchestra plug-in because i wanted to upgrade the strings to something really kind of pro um but found out they do a range of really good cheap um, and sort of small plugins which don't have a massive um, CPU or RAM requirement, a lot of which are free. So they do uh, a range of plugins called Labs, um, which are all free. Uh, there's about, uh, I think from memory, about 23 at the moment, ranging from ambient guitars to strange um, strings based synths to uh, soft pianos. There's quite a range of eclectic instruments um, and you know the fact they're free is quite amazing and I have done some compositions just using labs um, and typical of, of Spitfire Audio they're quite um, particular about audio quality so these plugins are free but they really stand up in terms of audio quality they sound fantastic most of them um, they also do a range of uh, cheap plugins uh, for 29 quid uh, they do a, a, a range called Originals, which is basically a felt piano, uh, brass and some strings, uh, which are all really good. So I use them on the laptop in place of BBC SO. Um, and then when we get onto the main system, I'll swap out the Originals and use BBC SO. You know, sometimes I won't because BCSO um, doesn't have the right sound and the, the cheaper plugins do. Um, so they also have uh, a couple of other slightly more unusual £29 plugins. Uh, one's called OPW um, and the other's called Alev Lens 3. And they're more kind of hybrid synth like um, textures. Most of Spitfire stuff is they say it's designed for film composers and a lot of the sounds on these two OPW and Alan Flynn's plugins are quite filmic uh, for want of a better word but they could be applied to all sorts of types of music and again for £29 you get some really interesting very well recorded good quality 
um, sounds and samples and patches. So, um, so I use those quite a lot, not only on the kind of portable system, but I have them on my, my main studio system and I've got some really interesting sort of music out and they're the sort of sounds that really inspire you to kind of do something and, and come up with stuff. So if you're in the market for something a little bit different, something really well recorded and free, definitely check out the Labs series. There's a, a massive range that, of plugins. They bring out a new one every month, which is crazy. Um, and also their kind of 29 pound range is worth checking out. Um, and their OPW and Alev lens you know something a little bit different and a bit kind of unusual um, but still really kind of inspirational um, they also have in the original series a thing called the felt piano I think it is which is basically an upgrade of the labs soft piano so labs do a soft piano which is a muted piano still love really lovely sounding the felt piano just adds a bit more kind of control to that in terms of mic um, positioning mic options if you like the labs soft piano and really want to get something a bit more flexible then it's worth looking at the original felt piano for a mere 29 pounds so um spitfire audio love them to death go and check them out especially the free stuff you can't go wrong hi everyone dan here we forgot to film an outro for neil's vlog so here we are don't forget to like subscribe and all that good stuff you know the drill by now and i'll catch you in the next one